Hey Floss Tube, it's Lolly at Lollipop Stitches. It is the end of February. <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. I know my plan was to do a mid-month update and then do an end of the month update. <sighs> that obviously happened, didn't it? No, it didn't. So, I am, um, I think I'm just gonna stick with doing an end of the month update. It kind of works better for me. Uh, it'll also give you guys more updates, I guess. Better progress, maybe? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I also figured out that the reason for awful lighting in previous videos is because I was doing it with the window at the back of the room, so I switched it around. This is how I started filming the videos, with the window light coming in, rather than using lights and lights and various other lighting equipment so hopefully this will be better and because i've got a day off uh monday got a day off amazing i can <coughs> film it during the day uh, rather than the weekend or an evening so yeah so oh i've got the <laughs> This is my fancy setup. So because I've turned it around and I rearranged my craft room like a couple of months ago, I used to have like the desk in the middle of the room. So you could use either side of the desk. Then my friend gave me this desk, which is like a corner desk with shelving and stuff. So yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh the camera's on the ironing board so I just pulled the ironing board closer <laughs> which hopefully will work out very well so um I haven't got anything to put stuff on in front of me and I, the ironing board is like legit not safe so not much is going on the ironing board well let's go through life updates life updates no life updates oh, I've got a spot that's awkward um, <laughs> so I started keeping a planner of stitching stuff slash life um, updates um, just to keep a log of stuff I guess which I mentioned before in a, another video um, Elena B will appreciate this tropical yeah so I think the last video I did was the end of January end of January and then February happened <laughs> oh no it was the start of February so but it was the January catch-up you all know what I mean um normal work life um work's been really busy I went on a course for one day I've got the second part of that course next week I'm really not looking forward to that because it's role play stuff and I'm just like yeah no and it's not yeah no just no just, no on a plus note though, it's in Harlow in Essex, about three hours down south. So, night away in a hotel, but with work people. <sighs> it should be fun, right? It's going to be loads of fun. I will be taking stitching with me. <laughs> because peaceful hotel night, uh, so looking forward to that. So yeah, other than that, I think that's it. February's been really quiet, to be fair. Just been stitching and stitching. So whips, FFOs, some purchases, purchases, and whips, gifts, gifts, got some gifts. Which I've shared on Instagram, so if you don't want to see them. And then, at the end of this video, I'm going to insert a video. I don't know what I was going to say then. Especially, or specifically? Especifically? <laughs> um, Mondays. I love Mondays, so I don't want to work Mondays ever again. My Monday at work it's a Friday. And why is that? Because the job I'm in, people are just like, 
oh I've not planned my work properly I need to put this in this weekend and I forgot to do it mate that's just down to poor planning don't come to me on a Friday afternoon trying to push stuff in for the weekend because it ain't gonna happen ain't gonna happen but people try and sometimes higher up management are just like oh no we, we don't agree with your decision to reject it we need that to go in okay but you're not telling me why and I don't see any justification as to why it needs to go in there's no financial impact there's no business impact it's just because you've not managed your shit right right that's what it boils down to. As I mentioned in a previous video, men. In IT, that's what it is. That's what it boils down to. And that's my soapbox. <laughs> so yeah. Um, what else? I go to Disneyland Paris soon. I cannot wait just for time away from work just time away just need holiday um, and I never holiday like outside of um, going to Florida mainly because it costs a lot to go to Florida and I tend to use my holiday quite a lot at work the majority of my holiday goes on uh, holiday allowance goes on my Florida holidays but last year, somehow managed to save up. I didn't use as much holiday. Um, so the days that I've got left still to book, um, I holiday years run April, April to April. So I never usually have holiday left over from December. Maybe November actually. November to end of March I never usually have any days to take because I've used them all for my holidays or I've took a week off for my birthday or I've had days off during the summer um so yeah uh, when, when my friend mentioned about booking it last year just before we went to Vegas and Florida she was just like oh it's only a couple of hundred quid do you want to come yes yes I do I'm gonna book those days off so I don't use them and that's done and dusted so this year I'm gonna do the same I love having time off this time of year love it. <laughs> so what else um we still doing my slimming world stuff not that you can tell <laughs> but I have lost so far today I got way in tonight so um I'm trying to think for you Americans that don't use the same measuring system as we do. I can't even think, oh, and it's on my phone. Um, we'll just say 15 pounds, 15 pounds. Yeah, 15, maybe 15 and a half. So last week I put on a pound and a half, but that was expected because I had eaten all the junk food. <laughs> Sometimes it's needed and it gives you that boost. It does. Wow, I hope it does. We'll find out tonight if it does. So I've been really good this week. I've only had two off-ish evenings, but even then they're not that bad, so. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Got a message from Diana. Um, that is, it is Kismet Stitches, Diana, that's what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's still going, still going. So I've been doing that for, this week is my 13th week of doing it. Still got a long way to go, as you can tell. But hey, all in the right direction. It just needs to stay off this time. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> so, okay, we'll go through... FOs. Now I've posted about this, F if I put this down is it going to wobble? Oh slightly. So I've posted about this FO. I've got three. 
No, wait, let me think about this. No, what am I talking about? I've got two FOs and one FFO. Yes, I have. So we'll go through FOs. FOs. So, Kathy. Um, Kathy Haberman from Hands On Designs. You'll know and love. You'll know and love. Um, she releases uh, free a free pattern on her blog for her wedding anniversary. Yep, wedding anniversary. Uh, I think. Uh, hmm, yeah, this was this year's one. So it was this little cushion type thing. Um, and it just says love and it's blah blah blah. It's, it's, I don't mean blah blah blah. Um, it just says love with arrows which is really cute. Um, it tells you how to finish it and whatnot. Obviously it didn't finish highlighting it. <laughs> um, it tells you how to finish it and yeah it's free got the freebies right so i had this scrap of pink fabric dude that's so pink Ooh. um so i changed out the colors of the threads for colors that i liked so i chose nine nine six four DMC, which is one of my favourite colours. I have a handbag in this exact same colour. From It's like this colour. From Kate Spade. It is also the company colour that I wrote for, which is slightly awkward. Because <laughs> the first day that... No, when I... It wasn't the first day. When I came on holiday once with my new handbag, they were just like, oh, you've got a handbag that matches the wall colours and the no that's not not the reason why I brought it mm -mm. <sighs> got a message off my shell too um so yeah this is a really quick stitch I think I did it over two evenings maybe and the purple colour this beautiful purple was a hand dyed thread from our girl candy stitches is that light too bright? Mm. That's better. But I love the colours against the fabric. I have no idea how I'm going to finish it. I haven't thought about that yet. We shall see. I might do a little hangy thing like... They're all about there. Um, the little Christmas things that I did on the wooden things. You watch me, you know what I mean. So yeah, that was one FO. One FO. Okay, someone's taking off. We're expecting snow to today, tonight, tomorrow. We're expecting snow. Now on the map, when I looked the other day, the band of snow was nowhere near uh, the West Midlands, so like right smack bang in the middle of the UK. Um, it just did a light flurry of snow, so I'm not expecting a lot. Because Elena B will also appreciate the pineapple drinking thing. Uh, next FFO. This one is not cross stitch. I, I know I keep messing with my hair, but like, ooh, just do my head in. Um, this one, um, I started. When did I start? I don't know why my face is really red, but hey, it's fine. Um, I started. Oh, so I did this like literally Valentine's Eve and finished it on Valentine's Day because <laughs> clearly that was the only love I was getting <laughs> um, and then I really wanted to do some embroidery I wanted another quick finish so I was just like you know what 
I'm just going to do some embroidery. So um, I use a lot of patterns for hand stitching from Urban Threads. Now Urban Threads, they sell machine patterns, machine embroidery patterns or hand embroidery patterns, which is just an outline of this. So I brought some patterns, when was that? Maybe in January they had a sale? Probably, most likely. <laughs> um, and this is one of them, this is from a collection called, I can't remember. Anyways, you'll be able to find it if you want Urban Threads. Maybe if I have a look on, without knocking the iron. <laughs> Please hold, caller. Uh, where am I going? There. So, Urban Threads. Um, the pack is called Bold Thoughts, and there's two, six designs in that pack that you can get, which is pretty good. I think it was like, I think it was only a couple of pound, a couple of dollars for the pack, which is good for the hand ones. Anyways, so I, if depending on the fabric, I'll either print the design on the fabric, which you can use using a printer and freezer paper. This is a tutorial that I've done probably like almost a year ago in a video somewhere. Um, this one, this fabric's quite thin, so what I did is just, I just traced it on with uh, the blue water soluble pens and. I used all new DMC floss colours apart from the green here, which was just a one of the DMC greens. I can't remember. Anyway, but this pinky red, um, rouge kind of colour is one of the new ones. The purple is one of the new ones. Um, the brown and the grey is also one of the new DMC colours from the 35 colours. yeah so I did this I think I did this in like three days two nights and maybe one day it was pretty quick but I don't know how I'm gonna finish it yet but that however that color just went there why does it keep changing is true to color it's really good really good so that's that one and then you'll love the next one. So this is the FFO. So everybody knows I did the Frosted Pumpkin Halloween Black Hat Society stitch along. And I did it to, to the pattern, apart from the big block of orange at the bottom. That shit ain't happening. <laughs> and I didn't know how to finish it. Excuse me. Um, I wanted to finish it kind of different. I didn't. I just didn't know how different I wanted to finish it. And then, you know when you have a light bulb moment? Well, a few weeks ago I had a really big light bulb moment that like, it almost exploded. <laughs> and I knew what I wanted to do and I knew how I wanted to finish it. So I did, and that's how I did it. Purely because, as well as that, the amount of fabric that I stitched it on, I didn't have a lot of excess fabric because it was a leftover piece from something else. So it was only like half of like the 13 by 18 pieces that you normally get for hand dyed fabrics. So I did a stencil with freezer paper. Yeah. And lose everything in the process. And I was just like, yes, this is so going to work. This is going to be amazing. So what I did, um, I cut this out of foam board. I stuck the stitching to the hat shaped foam board. And then I covered a square piece of foam board 
with some Halloween style, um, I don't know what you call it, checkered fabric. Oh my god, what's the name of it? I oh know Michelle, you're shouting it out just like I did with Pulp Fiction. You know the style of fabric. Oh my god, what's it called? My mind's gone blank. Anyway, I'm sure Michelle will come and tell me. So, um, and then I just mounted the two together. Now I don't know how, um, I need to finish the back of it still. Because I was waiting it for it to dry all properly. So what I'm going to do is put some ribbon as a hook and then back it with some paper or some variety of things. So this is Black Hat Society, all ffo for the most part, 99% done. <laughs> Can now, as you'll see, there's a bigger gap at the bottom here. This is purely because this was literally the end of the fabric. <laughs> I didn't have much room up here. So I had to, I wanted this to be quite big, I guess. Yeah, quite big. And uh, the only way to do that would be to get the point of the hat literally, I mean, a dirty laundry lolly. You can see the end of the fabric. But hey, you can't see it when you're looking at it straight on. So that's how that's finished. So, but I'm happy with the bit of gap that's down here. That's fine by me. I love this. Love it. And that means I can stick it up with my other Halloween, uh, the Tiny Modernist Halloween one. When Halloween rolls around, which is too far away. Um, oh no, it's awful. Hey, it's going to get covered. So that's that one. So that was the only FFO. So then, whoops, whoops. I only worked on three things in February this month. I got a kind of love-hate relationship with it. Um, I really want to stitch it and there's a stitch along and I really want to stitch it because it reminds me of Key West and I love Key West. So this is Country Cottage Needle Works, Summer at the Shore. And this is for the hashtag CCN head to the beach sale that is hosted by Ivana over on the Facebook page. And I was doing it, I'm doing it on uh, my own coffee bake and basted, bake and basted fabric. Um, so before, in the last video, I'd done the writing at the top and the swirls and maybe uh, two and a half clouds. So all I've done is the rest of this cloud and the start of this house. And I can't see what I'm doing. Let's do that way. I'm doing it one over one apart from the clouds. I was doing two over two to add a bit of depth to them. But I was doing this. And I freaking hated it. <laughs> I was just like, I can't, uh, no. I just, I don't know what it is, whether it's brown. I don't like brown. Not a fan of brown at all. Um, but I just really didn't like it. And I was telling Diana, she was just like, why aren't you stitching on it? Because I don't like it. And I don't know why. I'm just not feeling it. So that kind of ended there really that was it um oops that'll probably be an ongoing whip that will not be finished for wednesday because the stitch along was only february to no january first of january to the end of february nope not done not at all Then the next thing is frosted pumpkin stitch trees um, into the jungle cell. And ooh, stuck. February's release was two cans. And all of the borders at the top and bottom. 
bitch, that ain't happening in just one month. No. So, um, what I'm going to do is just stitch a bit of the top and bottom borders. Um, each month when uh, a block is released. Good lord. I didn't show this. No, I oh, couldn't have. I was thinking, wait, did I show this in the last one? No, I didn't, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so there are the two cans. Who can, you can. One can, two can. And then I I changed the font color to one of the new DMC colors. Because otherwise, how the hell am I gonna use them if they're not being used in any patterns? Um, 32, that's not gonna focus. Nope. <laughs> so, and I think that looks quite nice against this fabric and against the greens. Me likey. So that's that one. And that is what I've been working on. And then... That was whip number two. Whip number three is the next cell, which was, okay, that is, should I say, which is um, Ingleside Imaginariums, Guardians of Notre Dame, Notre Dame uh, Mystery Cell. Obviously, I've not printed out the second one. But February was released. Um, that's going to get done bit by bit each month. So I started on February's one. Uh, da, da, da. Last weekend. Because um, I wanted to get February's done before... You probably can't hear that and you just heard me shushing no one. It's fine, it's fine. We're all crazy here, right? So, you'll know, see the fabric colour of this one better as well with the daylight. Daylight. Um, so I finished February's Guardian and a little bit of the border. I've not done it around, so I've not done... So obviously February's Garden is in here. I've done the border up to about here. I might... I think this gets released on the first of the month. But I'll probably do Frosted Pumpkin first and then come back to this. Um. So yeah. I totally forgot what I was saying. The dog barking has distracted me completely. Completely. Anyways. That's where I'm at. And that's pretty... The colour of the fabric is pretty true to life there. Because I know some photos that are posted, they look... One photo will look true to the colour. Another one will look completely different and it's really annoying. These guys are adorable. Adorable. So I'm very happy at how that looks. I was concerned about this middle colour in here. It's actually a really light purple. And I was just like, that's just going to look purple on this fabric. But from far away, it just looks grey. So I love this. I love stitching on this. Um... And whilst we're on the subject of Ingleside Imaginarium, um, I was totally enabled to purchase something. 
She showed in um, Brittany, I think her name is. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm sure her name's Brittany, without looking. I'm awful at names, so if your name's not Brittany, I'm really sorry. <laughs> That dog is really going for it. Um, she'd shown. Um, I started catching up on some of her older bit, some of her older videos from December backwards, I guess. Um, from before the start of the stitch along for this, and she showed something that she was stitching. Which I can show you. Here, which you. Um, not November, October. Okay. Um. So she is stitching this, and I freaking love it. Absolutely freaking love it. Now I've seen this book before. And I was just like, mm, not really a horse fan. I like carousel horses. But the, would I actually put it anywhere? I'm telling you. I'd put that somewhere. So she told me who the author of the book was um, and where the pattern was from um, on her Instagram post because she'd been stitching on it for the Olympic stitching. And... Um, It happened. It was on Amazon for like three pound with free postage. It's a used book, so that doesn't bother me. Um, what makes me laugh is though, two ninety nine. I only paid like a pound more, <laughs> and I, I literally received it today in the post. And obviously, outside of wanting to do October's one. I thought, ooh, let's have a look at September's one for my birthday. And it's um, kind of circus, oops, circus kind of themed. I quite like that. Um, what else? Oops. January's one is, ooh, let's look at January's one. Oh, February one's adorable too. Mm, yeah, I like that one. That might have to be stitched. And they're not big. Uh, March is a bit... Neither here nor there. Same with April. Maze is kind of cute. Ooh, June's is fancy. That reminds me of the Grand Floridian in Florida. One of the Disney hotels. There it is. Um, July, obviously, because it's an American book, is very patriotic. August has kind of got a Western theme type on the ranch. <laughs> I quite like that, though. It's quite cute. Um, it's in October. November's is a Thanksgiving one. Um, and December is not really that Christmassy. The bells kind of look, <laughs> the bells kind of look like schools. 
schools, as in schools, not schools, schools. And um, so yeah, that game today. Thanks, Brittany. Uh, okay, what next? Um, so I had a new start. Now this is all down to Christina. Uh, stitch all the things because you know she's freaking amazing. And what else is there to say apart from that she's freaking amazing? Even if you just go and sit and watch, just want to look at her wall of fabric. It's something to be admired. Um, she's into quite a lot of dark stitching, which I love, obviously. And she's just really funny. I love it. She's awesome. Um, so she had done this, and I don't know if it's on the back of her cabinet, like her unit in her videos, or if it, she's shown it and it's somewhere else. Anyway, it's beside the point. I couldn't help myself and I had to buy it but then I just didn't buy one I bought two I mean these things happen right it's fine and they were only like, uh, now here's a little tidbit for you. Clouds Factory patterns are cheaper on their actual website. So cloudsfactory.net, albeit only like 30p cheaper, but they're cheaper than their Etsy store. How the frig does that work? You're clearly just marking up the prices for the Etsy, um, Oh my god charges so if you sell if you sell stuff on it so you get um charges for, hey. um so i started doing this Ooh. the fabric that i'm doing it on is jodery designs um august 2017 fabric of the month and it's called blue green tuppy tuppy that's what it looks like anyway Blue, green, tuffy. Um, this is 25 count. This, I think this was just before I switched out my subscription to 28 count. Opalescent fabric for my fabric of the month. Um, so I did this um, for the most part. So all of, oh, how am I gonna do this? There we go. So I pretty much did all of did I? <coughs> Maybe like all of that Saturday night. So I started it Saturday afternoon, but I didn't stitch a lot in the afternoon. I think I need to sneeze. No, I'm good. Um, and I switched out the red that was called for to 498, which is kind of more of a murderous red. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did that. Um, Grey, I'm just using Anchor because I'm kind of I kind of passed my life with DMC three ten. I do prefer Anchor four hundred three or whatever it is. It's black, right? Um, it's nicer to stitch with, and it it's less fluffy. Um, these little stabbies are so cute. I don't know, murder weapons should not be cute, but it's so tiny. Um, so. This is on 25 count. I'm doing one over one, hence why it's tiny as fuck. Um, so yeah, I did that Saturday night and that was the rest of this Sunday. Um, I'm doing some sewing on my machine today, on my tail off. Um, so I'll probably get around back to stitching tonight. After I, I go to weigh in and somebody tells me that I've not lost any weight again this week. I hope to God I have. So annoying. Um, so yeah, 25 count, one over one. Little tiny stabby things. Um, needle minder is the 
Alligator Girl from Haunted Mansion from Disney. And the needle minder was from Mind My Needle. Mind My Needle on Instagram. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Um, so I'm hoping this one will, will be a yeah, oops. I'm hoping this one will be a fairly quick finish. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna finish it, but it's gonna be a quick finish. Right. Yes it is. Um so yeah. Um Oh my god, I had to record some training videos for work for some stuff because nobody wants to help. And I'm not training people, I hate training people. I literally hate training people. Um, so I thought, well, best thing to do is to record some videos. Um, and slice it all together. So I did that the other week. <laughs> and I did it very carefully. Because obviously these videos are going to be in work for quite some time. And available for everyone that needs it. And I had to cut out all the time I said um <laughs> which took forever um and <laughs> slice it all together it was so funny because i'd be like play um da -da 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 -da. pause go back slice cut delete <laughs> but it's okay i've had a group of people testing it and for the most part it's been good i've got another meeting this week and hopefully I can move on to the new system and then hopefully all the old people will get made redundant and the shitheads that work in the, my department, the men, are gone. Um, what am I showing you? Oh, this is back to haul slash purchases slash gifts, right? So I got uh, February's uh, Fabric of the Month from Jodery Designs, and this one's called Ash Wednesday. It's another pink one. Sparkly. It's not too pink, so that's okay. That's okay. And then, I had before ordered, there's a website in the UK called Pole Stitches, that's P-O-L, S T I T C H E S Pole Stitches. I hope I've spelled that right. Can you imagine if I've not spelled that right? That would just be hilarious. That you can buy grab bags of fabric, like scraps of uh, fabric. So this is kind of some of the stuff that I've had before from them. And all it is is just off-cuts off of hand-dyed fabrics that they put together in a bag for you to buy. Now this, um, this option was £10 and I've got five pieces of fabrics, different sizes, different colours. Um, so I think it's worth it. That's one of them. That's opalescent as well. I think they all are, apart from one. That's one. Um, this is one. This one's opalescent. Um, you can. I don't know what. The only problem is you don't know what counts they are, <laughs> which doesn't help. Um, this is one, and this is one, but I think that they're quite good for like little projects rather than cutting into bigger pieces of fabrics that you've got. Um, obviously you don't know what you're getting, you don't know what size fabric, um, you'll be receiving. It's just kind of a, it's just a bit of a lucky dip. And I like that. Sometimes you just need a surprise, like, gift of stuff, right? Um, so yeah, let's 
February. That's not gonna go there. I know I'm making this look so difficult. <laughs> What is next? Uh, so I received awesome gifts from a, one of my best friends who I'm actually going to Disneyland Paris with. Um, she, I made her some stuff for birthday exchanges. One was a swap, but because it was a swap I did, we kind of, she gets busy, right? Um, and she got married last year, so that was not a priority. Crafting was not a priority. So the other week when she came around, she was just like, I have everything for you. I was just like, this is amazing. So she made me some embroidery hoops. You're all gonna flip your shit. I did post about these on Instagram. The first one. I think this was just for a birthday gift. Yeah. Guys. Look at how amazing that is. It's all hand embroidered. She's awesome. She is awesome. And when she gave it to me, I was just like, oh my God, this is amazing. You can even, it even, it spelled right. <laughs> um, but there's tiny stitching. And I just kept looking at it. I'm like, look, this is amazing. So that was one. And then the other one was for I think this was for the Disney Halloween thing that I did. <laughs> the one where I did the Booty You embroidery mashup with Hocus Pocus Hoop. So she did this one, which is based on Haunted Mansion. I thought it was started snowing again. No, we're okay. Um, so yeah, this is based on some artwork, um, lettering artwork from the Haunted Mansion. Me likey. And then this one is also from the Haunted Mansion, based on some artwork. So this is the bride and obviously Madame Leota. Again, Haunted Mansion fabric. Um, amazing. I just need to hang them up. This is a pile of stuff that I need to hang up when I get hooks. Um, and then. That's pretty much it. I've got one potential, oops, I keep doing it. Maybe the ironing board isn't the thing to hang, uh, put a camera on for recording. <laughs> um, so I've still got this FO that I need to FFO. And the other day I had a genius idea. Now I'd seen these in Hobbycraft and they were like five pound, I think. So it's just like a wooden, palette type thing and I was just like maybe if I distress it slightly um mount this on some foam board get some tropical things and attach it to this it will look a really cool FO. Um, so I started that today. I'm not sure entirely if I like it, but hopefully this will cover most of it. Um, I might put some burlap around the edge before I stick the foam board on. So it kind of covers most of this. Um, we'll see. I might tack on a video at the end of this to show you it finished. We shall see. Um, I keep saying um a lot again, I don't know why. But that's pretty much it for February. I don't have any plans for March. Oh, it is snowing. Oh, that's quite a lot of snow. Oh. Shall I show you the snow? You'll be like, that's not real snow. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, I have no plans for March, so I'm going away. Um, I'll probably do a floss tube update at the end of March. Um, that seems to be working for me to do one a month, even though it's only February. <laughs> I just don't have a lot of stitching mid-month update at the moment. So yeah, for now, for probably a while, I'll just do a stitched stitchy update at the end of every month um that is pretty much it uh, it's snowing quite a lot see snow maybe the weather for weatherman was right <laughs> Although it's not thick. But if it carries on, this is my awful garden. And my tiki man down there. Um, <laughs> but yay, snow. Yay. Right. Um, I. Yeah, so if I. When I log into FlashTube, I either watch it on my iPad or on my Fire Stick on the TV. And sometimes I find that the recommendations and stuff on YouTube are either people that you already follow or that they're, they're the... How to put it? <laughs> the more fl popular FlashTubers. And it's just their videos over and over again. And you don't really get to see like the little people like me um <laughs> not saying that you know um not everybody out there is like a really good floss tuber but um i find when i log in that it's just the same people um if i'm looking for similar similar to view type stuff um or whatever youtube recommends so yeah um, so on my Instagram, which I'll link to the post below, I posted about floss tube and asked folks to comment with their floss tube names. So A, the newbies, um, could get their names out there. Um, B, I would know who is who from floss tube to Insta Instagram. And if I'm not following them, um, I can come check them out. Um, and just getting the little dogs known rather than the big dogs. So yeah, that'll be linked below. You've seen some snow. You've seen an awesome FFO. And maybe at the end of this video, there is a section dedicated to Diana and it is Kismet Stitches just for you. Um, so thanks for subscribing, thanks for watching, liking, commenting. I know I'm shit at comments. Um, I tend to just uh, sit down and catch up on all comments. Um, usually before I do the next video. Um, I'll go back at the previous video and go through, or depending on time. It's all down to time. Um, so I know I'm not great with that, but I'm not great with comments anyway. I don't comment on people's videos unless it's just random. And that's A, because I'm watching it on my iPad or my phone, um, or B, because I've watched it on my TV and I'm thinking, yes, I need to go back and on my iPad and make a comment because I want to make a comment about something. The struggle. The struggle is real. It's fine. So yeah. So that is everything. So thank you everyone. You're all awesome. I hope everybody had a great February and I shall see you at the end of March. Peace out nerds. See? It's all done Diana. See? It's all done. It's all sewn together. Christmas quilt done in February. <laughs>